I'm going to show you real quick how to investigate the distribution of your data in SPSS, including its skewness and kurtosis. Go to Analyze, Descriptives, Frequencies, pull in the values you'd like, or the variables you'd like, go to Statistics, make sure skewness and kurtosis are checked, go to Charts, make sure histograms are selected, and Show Normal Curve. Continue. Make sure the display frequencies tables is checked and then hit OK. Here we are. We can see the skewness and kurtosis. Skewness refers to where our data lies. Is it heavily weighted towards the right or the left, the high end of the scale or the low end of the scale? Um, a negative value less than negative 1, so like a negative 1.5 or negative 2, means we have uh, skewed data and a positive value more than 1, like 1 1.5 or 2, means we have skewed data. Anything in between negative 1 and 1 is probably okay. Another measure for that is to multiply the standard error of the skewness times 3, and if the absolute value of the skewness is less than 3 times the standard error, then we're probably okay. In this case, we're not. Um, 0.13 uh, times 3 is about 0.4 and 0.9 is definitely more than 0.4. In all three of these cases we have skewness issues according to that measure. Kurtosis is a measure of how flat or how peaked our distribution is and it follows the same rule of three times the standard error. So in this case we're pretty close, we're probably okay. Um, in value 2 we're just fine and value 3 were just fine. So it looks like we may have skewness issues, but probably not kurtosis issues. If we look down here at the histograms, we can see that we're roughly normal, maybe a little bit skewed left, um, but we really don't have much of a kurtosis issue, maybe a little bit peaked. This one's much better for kurtosis um, and for the skewness. It's fairly normal, a little bit skewed left, and same with this one, a little bit skewed left, but not uh, no kurt kurtosis issues. And that's it.